try and take complicated scientific research and conservation issues and put them into simple format, illustrated to express in sort of sound bites and pictures to guides and to, to, get, to, to guests, to, to make a better experience for both sides, both for the staff and for the guests. Because the staff don't have, the guiding staff don't have the time to sit on the internet to read, they don't know where the sources of this information is. If it's condensed down into a simple, quick, interesting, easy presentation that you can just get over in minutes, then you can put a lot into a PowerPoint or something like that in 15 minutes. You know, that will, will cover a lot of ground, but simplify it and not compromise it the accuracy of the information. So your role is to sort of take the guides, like you say, hold their hand through mm. that so that, you know, they are, they are able to help guests engage with the scientific Yeah, topic. and they can then pass that knowledge on about conservation issues, particularly in the world today of issues that are a threat to animals or the environment or something, you know, we're in a crisis situation, so I tend to concentrate on things that are a threat. And um, once they understand that, they can not only pass it on, but they might even get to the point where they could give a version of the presentation themselves, because I can't be in every place myself. Um, and what, what qualifies you to do, I mean, you, you've been in this for how long, this realm? Well, over 30 years, and I've had a very varied career, and I've built up a huge number of contacts. So I know, if I don't know, so I don't know all the, I'm not an expert on all these fields, but if I, for example, say alien plants, I mean, you say, Richard, you're a veterinarian, you don't know anything about plants. I don't, but I know someone who does, and I've read a little bit, so I'll go to them, and I'll get the story, you know, and I'll get a few pictures, and I, I could put a little story together about almost anything. Uh, rhino poaching, um, what is a World Heritage Site? I mean, we have, we have guides working in a World Heritage Site that don't know what a World Heritage Site actually is. Um, that when, the, when the guest asks them, you know, what, what, is a, what is a world, they can't tell them. Yeah. That sort of thing. So you've been brought on specifically for African bush camps to focus on that. Yeah, I mean, they want to support research and they want to support conservation initiatives if they can, not necessarily financially only, but in, in kind, perhaps, you know, giving them a small space in a camp to where they can drop in and do a bit of communication, give a talk, or the guides can collect data from, for them. For example, you saw in, in Wangi, I was handing out those lion cards. Mm. Now, the lion project can't be in all areas at all the time. So if those guides of ours every so often can report back to that lion research project and say, we've seen so and so, and he was here with this one and that one, and those ones have come back into this area or something. You know, that, that's a source of data with photographs. That's a source of very good data for the project for free. And then it benefits everybody. It benefits the guide, the guest, and the research project.